The doctor is in, Michael Parati, joining you from final round Atlanta 2018. I am being joined by Echo Fox's Justin Wong. How are you doing this weekend? I'm doing pretty good, just enjoying myself here in Atlanta, Georgia. I've um, been coming here for, I think, like over 10 years now for final round. So, it's you know, I've been here since hotel venues and now we're at convention center. So, you can't really complain too much. Yeah, and you know, it is the first Capcom Pro Tour event. Uh, what does that mean to you? Um, first Capcom Pro Tour event, it means uh, I have no more social life. It's more <laughs> traveling, too much traveling, flying around the world, and uh, playing uh, very competitive matches with a lot of amazing players around the world. So Capcom did change things up this uh, season. You know, there's uh, different point uh, devaluations and things like that. Uh, you know, a couple of players have said certain things about that. What are your thoughts? I'm personally not a fan with the, the change. I think uh, last year it was uh, more balanced. Um, I feel like if there's a choice between the same weekend as a premiere and a ranking, the obvious choice for a pro player is to go to the premiere in general because of how much the points that they can possibly give out if you place in so well. Um, so that, I guess that's my take. I, I feel like rankings should have been kept the same. Like now more people might not want to go to a ranking unless they're like the um, maybe the 25th to the 31st seed or something. But I would say like the top 15 will possibly would not go have a high chance of not going to the ranking unless it's like their hometown. So that's how I feel about it. So, but um, but besides that, I like premieres because everyone's coming out now. Last year there was people there was players that probably would skip out like no I'll go to the next pro one. But if you look at final round, like everyone's here, it's stacked. It's actually crazy. So I love that aspect. Yeah, I mean now online's not necessarily as important as it is last year either because now you have to go to these premiere events. Um, but I mean, so final round, like you said, is pretty stacked. Um, you made it out of pools, correct? Yeah, but I lost Nemo in winners, so I'm, I qualify in losers. And so every pool, you're gonna have at least two, three godlike players, and even the, the players that you don't know about that, but there are possibly grandmasters online because they've been grinding online. They pulled an upset, like uh, you had a Momochi fall down to Aeon, oh, wow. who was like a grandmaster Colleen. I never heard of him until I saw him yesterday. You know, people were saying, yeah, he's a grandmaster online, and it was it was really good. He was really good. So you know, seeing those players come out more often to try to like make a name for themselves or what they want to be part of Capcom Pro Tour. Kudos to them. So, you know, some big names have fallen, like you said, Momochi being one of them. But how do you foresee your, uh, for the rest of the tournament for you? Uh, it's hard. Like, since I'm starting from losers at top 64, it's, it's a long road. I think you have to win like, what, uh, seven, six, seven matches to get top eight. And obviously the people from winners are going to be coming down to the losers bracket. So it really depends on who I face, what's the road, because there's always going to be people that you would want to not fight until the end of the tournament or just kind of want to avoid and there's also players that you want to fight because you have a number on their your number on them or have a good read on them and and have a, a high chance of winning against them so i think it depends on the bracket gods um if they like me today all right so season three changes you know a couple different v trigger twos coming in a couple different uh characters just being changed almost completely uh what are your thoughts on you know the new vit v trigger twos um i feel like Capcom made the V Trigger 2s too powerful for a lot of characters. Um, Colleen, uh, Guile, um, they, um, a lot of characters that can really use V Trigger 2 to kind of just like more of a replacement to V Trigger 1. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, you know, it's cool that you have new v, v Triggers because now it makes the game more like in depth because you have more studying to do, more matchup knowledge, which is always good. But I, I really feel like I would love, I would would prefer if both V triggers were useful mm -hmm. so so every character can use it and instead of just going for a oh you know this this V trigger got nerfed so let's just go to V trigger 2 okay now you know some of the characters uh, that you've played in the past year you know we've seen Ed kind of as a pocket pick Manat as a pocket pick you know this is the first big event of the year uh, do you have one hiding in your sleeve you said you're coming from losers you may need it I actually been practicing a lot of Manat but all the matches I played throughout the whole entire tournament so far, all, they all destroy Manat. <laughs> so it got me kind of sad because I did not practice Karen at all. I only practiced oh, Manat. Wow. <laughs> so it, it actually got me kind of kind of salty. But uh, hopefully, I could bust out Manat at least once in this tournament. I just just want to try it out because you know I've been going to like other like non CPT tournaments just to only play Manat only. Mm -hmm. But since CPT is here, you have to pick and choose really. 
Yeah. So uh, a lot of players are saying NorCal Regionals are the next step for them. Is it the same for you? Yeah, I'll be at NorCal Regionals. That's the, the next premiere. So it's the, the obvious choice. And it's kind of like that, like last year and the last year before that, they're always like two weeks apart or one week apart. So yeah, I'll be at NCR. All right. And then just a final question. You know, there was that big exhibition match last night, uh, Echo Fox, Sonic Fox against Goichi. Didn't quite work out so well for your boy. Yes, um, you know, I knew, um, I personally wanted Sonic Fox to win, but just knowing Goichi's track record from previous games and playing him before, I really felt like it was going to be pretty hard uh, for Sonic Fox, because usually when you see Sonic Fox play in, like, tournaments in America, it's pretty much one-sided, right? Like, it's kind of like he's guaranteed to win. But um, I would say that this was, like, a really good wake-up call for him, because this was, like, his, I think his first time ever playing um, a Japanese player in a game that he plays because okay. he doesn't really he, he doesn't really play like uh, Japanese games you know like like Tekken or yeah. or like Virtua Fighter or Street Fighter you know he plays more of like the games that he really likes to play like Injustice Skullgirls um, so seeing that he's he's really into Dragon Ball and then uh, Japan is really into Dragon Ball <laughs> I'm really excited to see Sonic Fox adapt and see if he can really take it from them all right well thank you for your time uh, good luck the rest of the weekend and good luck at NorCal Regionals thank you